Today's the big day to where I'm going and trying to get my 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor uh, licensed and uh, registered with the state of Missouri. So something that I've learned is if you buy a vehicle out of state, never have it repaired out of state because this check engine light keeps coming on the wrench. And I'm not going to drive two and a half hours back to Arkansas one way to get it fixed. So I'm going to have to find a shop here to get it fixed, which means more money and everything else. I had a brake sensor replaced, so I don't know if they didn't fully connect it or what, but that's getting annoying. I did just now get the car inspected, and it passed inspection. All, um, all I had to do is replace the wipers said they were torn they weren't they were in perfect condition I don't remember exactly where this place is because I've only been here like one time she puts, she puts you back, back in, in your seat, your seat day long today I've been going from uh, mechanic shop to mechanic shop trying to get my oil changed nobody can get the oil changed whatsoever like they're all backed up and on top of that that means I can't get my wrench light fixed either so all the shops are full and it's just it's getting so annoying guy came out of nowhere. Welcome to Springfield. Random people just crossing the road. Absolutely random. hear the wind I'm sorry I apologize it took me a while to find the spot it's been a while since I've been here and I couldn't remember exactly where it's at but I wanted to show you guys my new to me 2011 Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor P71 Panther platform body on frame X cop car with 125,000 plus miles. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, we're gonna do a startup. Let's go into the interior. Because you guys have been bad, you get the cage. All right. Better be good now. All right, because you guys have been bad, you guys are back in the cage. I have a partition and a cage. Not really much more. This is where the prisoners would go. 
I am going to have the cage removed. I am keeping these in though. I like those. But let's go ahead and grab a seat up here where I belong. You guys can stay back here. Okay, so this is what you can expect uh, on the driver's side, which you guys have never been there, of a 2011 Ford Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Obviously there's your dash. It shows 140 miles an hour, but I've only got one up to 125. It says the red line's at 6,000. You have a factory head unit that is absolutely garbage. Soon I plan on getting that replaced. I love this, that it's just so easy and plain. You have your defrost, your high low speeds, hot or cold, and what you want. And obviously over here, your headlights, your uh, brightness on, ah, your brightness on your dash, and then this is to adjust your pedals. Obviously on the door, you have all of your switches and everything else. This is your seat adjust and everything else. Parking brake and hood latch right there. There you go. And if you buy a Crown Vic, it will not come with the center console. I went to my old work and I got my old center console out of my old Crown Vic. This Crown Vic came with a fire suppression system, which I'm not gonna press that. And, uh, it even comes with a mirror. The Ford Crown Vic comes with a dome light. Sometimes they come in red. And those lights, thank God when you open your door, they do not come on. I like that. Obviously your glove box. But one thing that I absolutely love about this Crown Vic is that it is absolutely so basic. So basic. Because that's one thing that is amazing about Crown Vicks. They're absolutely so basic. Um, you can do anything you want to a Crown Vic and it's going to ask for more. The trunk space is absolutely huge. It is humongous. You can fit anything you want back there and then some. I'll show you. In order to open the trunk, all you have to do is press this button. Now that you have the trunk up into your 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor P71, it is absolutely huge in this trunk. Um, you have a full size spare tire in the trunk, which is absolutely amazing. Mine came with the police divider. I'll probably end up taking that out. I don't like it. You have a jack up there. Some cop cars, have a thing to where you can roll out and that's where all your electronics go but this you can fit anything you want in this trunk and it even has the kidnap release let's see if it works <laughs> I'm just kidding now all right before I did any modifications to this car I wanted to show you guys how I bought it from the dealership. The dealership got it from the Jasper County Sheriff's Office in Jasper County, Missouri. They said they picked it up in Joplin, Missouri, which is one of my sister agencies when I was a police officer, and this is exactly how it came equipped. It had 125,000 plus miles on it. It was 125,418 miles. I had 1,793 engine idle hours when I bought it. It was a transport vehicle, so it didn't have a light bar on top, which is another reason why I bought it. And uh, the spotlight doesn't work, as you can tell, and as you guys know. But 
Uh, these are the updates that I'm gonna get here uh, soon. Okay, so the car came stopped with the push bumper and the wraparound on both sides. I've done absolutely nothing to this cop car yet. There is no window tint on the car whatsoever. Um, these bars for the window have uh, came with it. The partition has come with it. The cage has come with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cage out, this. I'm going to leave the partition, which is this. So I'm taking out the cage and I'm going to leave these bars. And what I'm doing, and what I'm going to do to this car is I'm putting a 5% brow up here, straight brow on the front windshield, the front windows. are gonna be 5% window tint. The back windows are gonna be 5% window tint with three layers. So 5% times three layers. Remove that cage and then the rear glass is gonna be 5% with 55 on top of it. So this car is gonna have a 5% straight brow, 5% window tint on the drivers, passengers, front doors. It's going to have 5%, uh, three layers of 5% on the back passenger. And then it's going to have on the rear glass 5% plus 55. So it's going to be dark and it's going to look good. Then I'm going to move that cage back out, leave the partition in, and leave the window bars in as well. And it's going to look hot. This, when I say brow, this up here is what I'm talking about. It's probably gonna come down here and be straight across. Before I got this removed, I just wanted to, uh, to show you the back glass um, and what it looks like with the cage. I'm sick and tired of seeing that bar. It is so annoying. Blocks traffic, see? Okay, I have to show you guys this because uh, I wasn't expecting that. I did a small burnout and then I hit the gas and I was going and I wasn't expecting it to do much because in later videos I might be uh, doing stuff like that so I wanted to see how the car was going to do. <laughs> you have got to see this. Oh, oh, oh my god. That is where I did the burnout. And then this is where I hit the gas. And it's all the way down there too. I'll get in my car and I'll show you. This is the burnout that I did just a second ago. This entire long black mark. Honestly, was not expecting to do a burnout for that long. Ooh. 
you can smell that burning. <laughs> Ultimate. That last part, that was fun, dude. Woohoo! Oh yeah, dude. So I can't do that anymore because I already need tires and I don't want to put tires on this. This is my daily driver. So we're doing 30 miles per hour. And I think this is a 35 if I remember right. So far, this is the only bad thing about having a police car. So that they actually think it's a cop car. Yeah, speed limit is 35. Oh, now we're doing below 30. Aye! This Crown Vic is a heck of a lot faster and a heck of a lot better than my police car when I was a police officer.